we're gonna go narrow row, and then we're gonna roll it down and do a chest press. All right, don't know why the stream ended. I still see it on my computer. Let me make sure that's still there. Go back to Sweaty Bestie's profile. I don't know what's going on today, you guys. Um, wait, so this watch live. We're gonna do that. Okay, I'm still there, I think. <laughs> We're gonna see what's happening. We're gonna see what's happening. Oh yeah, my phone is totally dead. Okay, and that's what it is. Oh, you know what? Just if I plug it in, maybe that's what's going on. And yeah, I think we're good. Jared, Eva, hey creative. Oh good. All right, so we are okay? I, mean, I don't know how okay I am, but <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna see if this is working. Hopefully it is. Weird, okay, I don't see the chat, but I assume, I'm just gonna assume we're still doing this thing, okay? All right, so 15 seconds, if you guys are ready. I guess, <laughs> that's all I see, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're gonna try. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up medium and heavy. I'm gonna go with, let's see, I'm gonna do a 12 and a 15. Right hand heavy, medium hand left. Push back, you're gonna go wide row first. Yeah, we're gonna crank these out. Okay, push those hips back. Now balance, so that means you're bending your knee you're standing on, which is your right leg, okay? Pull your abs in, and you're just gonna go like this. Okay, really finding that balance, keeping that core tight. Nice job, make sure the tailbone is not out and it's not rounded here. you have kind of in a neutral spine position, okay? But still too much, Woo! You can always stack where your feet are directly underneath you. This is a little bit more with your back and your core is working as well. Now obviously the balance element, you're lifting up that leg just a little bit. Woo! Nice job, you guys. All right, switch that leg, and this time, you're gonna do narrow row, okay? So we're just switching legs here, and we're switching, instead of a wide row, we're gonna go narrow. It's a little bit easier. See that? Elbows come in narrow, pinching the shoulder blades at the top of that. Tailbone is under, core is tight. Again, bend the knee you're standing on. And then when you're ready for it, add that balance element. Again, your right arm is gonna feel this even more. Squeeze, pinch those shoulder blades. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You got this. We showed up for a reason. Wow. Almost there. I had to drop down. Make sure my tailbone is tucked a little bit more. Maintain a flat back. All right, let's take it down to the floor. If you're ready for it, stick with those same weights. Chest press, okay? Curl it up before you go down, and then you roll it back. Take those hands up, take it wide, and bring it back up. Now, I want you to challenge yourself by staying within a range of motion where you feel like you are challenging yourself. As in, you come up, or you go down, but your elbows are right above the floor. And as you come up, you, you maintain the same distance from your hands. Hands are about a foot away from me at the bottom and at the top. So I'm not here. I'm not locking joints. I'm staying within a range of motion where I really feel it. Remember, neck is long, shoulders are dropped. Drawing a straight line across that chest. Shoulders down, elbows a little bit lower than your shoulders. But you're making a letter L with those arms. All right, palms together, elbows go in. That'll help you to maintain protection with those shoulders. All right, pick it up, switch. Now, heavy is in your left, light or medium in your right. Repeating that again. Let's go ahead and stand on this side. Start with your left leg this time, and you're doing a bent over row. Shoulders, hips are square, core is tight. Notice how I'm not looking at you. I wanna keep my neck and spine in alignment. I'm not gonna hurt myself by looking up. I'm gonna drop so I can keep my shoulders dropped. Neck long, pinch those shoulder blades at the top. You got this. The leg you're standing on, 
Woo! Working that booty too, right? We've got a like, balance here. What is that? Good job. Thanks for showing up today. Even through a little bit of the headache of the mic not working. It happens though. It happens. Right? But we're resilient. We're still gonna show up and do what's right. What's going on, Jared? <laughs> I know, right? We got issues today. Take one foot back, shoulders back and down. When in doubt, booty out. Here we go. Narrow row from the front. Elbows go in, squeeze those shoulder blades together, then drop it down. You got this. Bend that knee you're on. Pull your abs in. Hips are square. If you lift your foot just slightly, just make sure the toe can almost touch, okay? I just want you to do that so that you're not turning out. You want your spine long. That's why we did that first move, to really make sure we're not doing any twisting right now. Twisting's not bad, but that's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on imbalances this week. Balance and imbalances. So, uneven weights. Woo! Adds another variation to the balance element. All right, take it down to the floor. Wow. Stretch those forearms if you need it. Grab those weights again. Heavy with your left, lighter, medium with your right. Roll it down. Ready? Same thing. Neck is long, shoulders away from your ears. I took my weights up too high. Remember, you're not here. You're actually about a foot wide, maybe maybe a foot and a half, depending on your, your wingspan. Going up and going down. Pull those abs in. Keep your back flat to the floor here. Elbows go wide. But my elbows, I don't know if you can see from that angle, they're still lower than my shoulders, okay? I don't want to be working my shoulders here. I want to be working my chest. Wow. I'm feeling it. If it's too much, you can always do more triceps where your elbows come in. Oh my goodness. I'm going to step right there. Timer. Good job, you guys. All right. Got about a minute break. One more circuit, which means six more minutes and you are done. You need to stretch that chest. This is a good one. Oh, that feels good. Okay, ghouls from last week stuck around, <laughs> right? It's so true. It's so true, creative. Like, what is going on? We've got hauntings going on. Speaking of ghouls, did you guys watch Ghost Hunters? Or anything freaky scary? Eddie and I, like, kind of get into that stuff. <laughs> We've been on ghost tours, haunted houses. A couple crazy things have happened over the years. Stick around and tell you that story after, for right now. We've got six more minutes of hard work and then we're done. Remind me to talk about ghosts right after this. Okay, so back, uneven, imbalances. What are we doing with that? We're actually going to be on, I want you to do lighter, okay? So maybe not those, but I want you to do, I'm gonna do a nine and a seven. Put heavy in your right hand, lighter. Again, we're gonna be doing this. Okay, so something you can maintain throughout this workout. It's a back fly. Again, the balance is there, the imbalance is there. Work in the upper back. You can always lift the legs slightly. And I'm just lifting, what, nine and seven. Something uneven so that I have to focus on that balance even more. Pinching the shoulder blades at the top. Pulling those abs in, trying to keep my upper body and my leg as still as possible, okay? When you can really lock in your core and keep your eye on the ground, like look at something on the floor. All right, good job. Shoulders are dropped. We're gonna hinge. And this time, a little bit different. Palms face you, go up at an angle, okay? So, working. A little bit of the shoulders, but at a different angle, okay? So out. So instead of the palms facing down, like we did, I want your palms facing forward. So even just that slight adjustment is gonna work even the backs of those shoulders a little bit differently. And the upper back. And the rhomboids. Woo! Nice job. You're almost there. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Wow. 
you've got this. You got this. Nice work. <sighs> Squeeze the shoulder blades. One more. Nice job. Now, I know we started with a push up, we're gonna end with a push up. But this time, balance. Again, couple options here. Start in that push up position. Palms out, shoulders dropped, elbows back. Now, if you can, I want you to lift up one leg, your right leg. In balance workout. One leg stays lifted. Second option, you're on your toe, and you're doing it from that angle. One arm is really, actually starting to feel it a little bit more because I really got to engage whew, the core. <sighs> Again, I did drop to my knee so I could maintain good form. That's what I want you to do. No momentum and full range of motion. Shoulders are dropped, fingers pulled out. Make sure the elbows are in line with your wrist. Keeping that core engaged. Okay. Did you feel that? Wow, good job. Let's go ahead and reach. Other hand, other hand. Repeat on the other side. Let's go ahead and stand. We're gonna stand on our right leg. This time start with your palms facing forward, okay? We're working that right leg. Left leg hovers behind you. So heavy weight is in your left hand this time, okay? And it's not necessarily, it is a back fly, but changing that angle so the palms face forward. Worked my booty yesterday. Oh, nice! So that's what her, it was very scary. <laughs> nice job, ooh, creative. And that's your favorite day, isn't it? Leg day! <laughs> You're like, no. Oh, great job. Woo. Remember, trying to keep everything locked in. The only movement should come from those arms. I'm squeezing the shoulder blades. All right, stand up. Wow. And I'm even at an angle. So if you want a deeper exercise, you can even lunge further into this. But you're really fighting gravity. Maybe I'll try that with this exercise. Palms face each other. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Abs are pulled in. If you start to feel this in your low back, drop that foot. If you still feel, still feel it, drop to a chair position with your squat. Pinch those shoulder blades. Tuck that tailbone under slightly. Head and spine neutral, which means you're not looking up, you're looking down, shoulders away from your ears. Keep on breathing. The calm is in the body. The storm is in the arms. Everything else is locked in. Wow, balance. You stop right there. I need it. Good job, you guys. Put down the weight. We're ending with that push up. And then we're done. So go all the way to the floor. Set it up right. Thumbs, highest rib. Take it out, six inches. Hands point out, shoulders are dropped. Line up with your wrists with your elbows and push. This time left leg up, core is tight. Reaching down, Woo. core engaged here. If you want a more of a challenge, yeah, I have a dog right in front of you. <laughs> if you want more of a challenge, you can always go up on that toe. Just make sure that core stays tight your back. I could tell I was starting to lose it. So I did. I dropped to my knee. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Ain't no shame in my game. I will drop to those knees when I need it. Okay. All right, guys. Walk it out. Put away your weights. We're gonna stretch here pretty soon. I'll let the dog out. Just trying to get my attention. Good boy, Harp. Session complete. All right. You can see my heart rate. I'm sure it would be elevated quite a bit. All right. Whew. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my mat while I tell you my ghost story. Do you guys have any ghost stories? Feel free to share. Eddie and I, this is kind of fun. We went to an Airbnb in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 
And that night, we had heard about the red covered bridge. And we were like, you know what? Let's go check it out. And we get there, and there was so many teenagers and kids and just so many people. Woo, Selena, you stink. We have a, I have a closet over there that only has like a, the door is cracked open a little bit for cat boxes in there. But I can rarely smell it. Man, but today, holy wow, kitty. Your booty stinks. Um, okay, anyway, so when we, when we went to this thing, and we were like, this is so ridiculous. And we ended up going back to our Airbnb, and we are like, well, that was ridiculous. <sighs> Go ahead and stretch with me, okay? Knees are soft. You can sway side to side if your heart rate's coming down. <sighs> yeah, like me. And so we went back to the Airbnb, we'll, and we were like, well, we check out in the morning, maybe we'll swing by there. So we swung by there. Nobody was there in the morning. And the story behind this red covered bridge is when the armies were, what, Civil War? I don't know history, don't judge me. <laughs> but anyway, when they were going, two guys retreated back and hid underneath this red covered bridge. And all together, the army came back, which, and so they all kind of retreated back together. But because these other two guys, oh, hold on, I'm gonna turn off my alarm. Um, but we had, what happened, oh, yeah. actually I'm gonna keep this here because it's gonna go off again. So anyway, these two guys had retreated. So what happened was when the army all retreated back together, they found them and they're like, hey, you, you deserted us, deserters paid the ultimate price. So they hung them from this red covered bridge. So apparently their souls are still there. You can hear voices and it's been known to be you know, scary, freaky, all that stuff. So, all right, let's go ahead, stretch your triceps with it. A little bit of a side body reach. Um, yeah, let's see, are we done? Jerry can make her, make up her, do her last 30 push-ups with channel points. <gasps> Creative, you would not tell him that. <laughs> I mean, I will if you guys make me. Oh man, how'd you find out about that? Okay, okay, I will if you redeem channel points, I totally will. Um, okay, so anyway, we go back in the morning and we have a recorder because we're kind of serious ghost hunters. Yes, we are. Take that other arm up. And we put the recorder on the bridge and Eddie is at one end, I'm at the other. and We're just kind of walking around. There was nobody there. Trust me, nobody. Nobody's gonna get up early <laughs> in Gettysburg. They're all gonna go to ghost tours late at night and stay up probably drinking and then pass out. <laughs> so anyway, we're walking around and at some point I was, kind of made a rude comment, which I, I do regret it now. But I was walking and I was like, hi, my name is Sarah. This is Eddie. We're just wondering if you guys are still hanging around. No pun intended. <laughs> like, so bad. And they were hung there on the bridge. I know, I know. I should not have said it, but I know now. Okay, oh, yeah. take those arms behind, stretching the chest. Next, Eddie at one point said, did you hear, did you hear something? And I was like, huh, I didn't hear anything. So, on the drive back, we listened to the audio recording and Eddie's like, I feel like I heard something there. And I was like, yeah, me too. And so he put it on the digital, like he did, he was in radio, he does video audio stuff. So anyway, he made it blow up and we listened to the clip. And no lie, there's a voice. So it sounds very much like a, like an Amish, like young adult male voice. And it says, oh sweet Sarah, go along your way. What? Oh, sweet Sarah, go along your way. And it has almost like a old timey tune almost with it. Like it just sounds strange. Not even kidding. If you guys are interested in, I will post a YouTube clip. I'll ask Eddie to do that tomorrow. Or as soon as you guys pop on, we'll, I'll make sure I share that clip. Cause it, it is on YouTube, but it's on Eddie's channel, I think. I don't know, it's hard to find. It might be under Red Covered Bridge or Gettysburg, I can't remember. But it is saved, if you guys wanna hear it, it's pretty freaky. Pretty freaky, y'all! So, anyway, that's my ghost story. If you guys have any ghost stories, let me know, I'm always curious. All right, round your shoulders, round your spine, tuck your tailbone under, creepy, all good, I will go on my way. <laughs> I know, right? Go along your way. Yeah, a little bit freaky, a little bit freaky. Nice job. Big inhale up. 
Exhale, pull those elbows back. Nice job, let's do that again. Really round your spine. We did a lot of rowing and flexing, so we're just trying to pull. You can even do this from, if you have like something you wanna hang on to. I like to drop my head and just really round, round my spine so I can feel kind of a pull in that upper back. You can do it that way as well. A little bit deeper of a stretch. Woo! We do a lot of mobility here, right? Oh, it feels so good. If you hang off of a doorknob, just be careful not to let it break. Oh. And then you take an inhale up, and you exhale, big stretch back. We did it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I so appreciate it. Eva, my goal is 16 push-ups. Back in the day, people were required to do at least 16 push-ups in high school. I think it was the 50s or 60s. What? In the 1950s or 60s? What? No, you're, you're not that old. <laughs> I think it was 50 or 60s um, under the presidential fitness test. Oh, do you mean like 50 or 60 push-ups? Sorry, I'm a little dyslexic. <laughs> but yeah, oh my gosh, 50 or 60, woo! To be honest, I don't even know how people redeem channel points. Does something pop up? I don't know. I feel like it would be like in the chat. I mean, you guys let me know. If, if anybody redeemed those for channel points, I will definitely do them. I just don't know. I don't see anything right now. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do those push-ups, man. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, no, no. I mean, unless you want to. If you guys redeem channel points, I totally will. Um, okay, actually, that's not even reading my chat. Let me try this again. Yeah, that was old, old chat from before. What is that green envelope to the left? at this and see a green envelope. Um, what is that green? Tim Poet, hello! I don't know, I'm trying to think. Because if I'm standing here, this would be your left, correct? There is this thing, oh, on my screen. <gasps> is there something on your screen? Is there something on your screen? Sorry, hold on, let me turn myself down. Oh, you can hear music. Yeah, I can't hear music on my end. I can't hear music. Okay, let me, uh. Green envelope. Does anybody else see that? What is that green envelope? I don't know. Is there something next to your screen? If anybody knows, please answer her to help help us go. Sarah, there you go. Oh, did you send it? I honestly don't see anything. I don't know. I just clicked it. It sent 10 plus. Oh. I don't know what that means either. Oh my gosh, I should know. I should I should learn how Twitch works, you guys. And he's like, I set all this stuff up. And I was like, cool, what does it mean? But I honestly don't see anything. But you know what? Um, I did, oh, creative. So yeah, 30 push-ups. All right, I'm gonna do it. It's channel points. Okay, I don't see anything on my screen or on my phone, but I trust you guys. You would not lie to me, right? We're friends. Sweaty besties do not lie to each other <laughs> okay i gotta let my dog in and then i'm gonna crank out freaking 30 push-ups really oh 10 push-ups oh thank you creative i like 10 10 is better than 30 and i'm gonna challenge myself and do it on my toes all right you ready thank you for redeeming super fun super fun to make me work hard <laughs> ask your mod later i will tim Pollen. thank you so much all right hi hardy ready pull those abs in core is nice and tight I'm gonna do tricep push-ups actually. I already did a lot of chest work today. So, ready, set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my arms, they can't see. Nine, 10. Woo! All right, all right, I think I did it. I just heard a beep. Can you still hear me? I don't know. Am I here still? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you'll help me figure it out. Thanks, creative. I honestly don't see anything on my screen. I'm like, there's nothing. Um, but thank you. I trust you guys. Harvey, you got snot on me. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you. Yeah, seriously, challenge? I like, I like challenges. Oh, you guys, starting on Monday, planks and thanks challenge, and I'll share Oh, that'll be fun. I'll share the picture on my stories. So if you guys want to screenshot it, 
from my stories on Twitch, if you access your phone, I'll be sharing that probably no later than this weekend, okay, because it officially starts on Monday. Um, but I will, obviously, if you're in my Sweat Life with Coach Sarah group on Facebook, I'm going to be posting it this weekend. So seriously, come check it out. It'll be more core work, and it'll be a fun bingo challenge. We'll have different um, goals on there and ways you can participate, and then I will be giving away a prize at the end of the month. So for all of you guys that finished the bingo board over the course of, what, three weeks, I'm not going to have, like, well, we'll see. We'll see how many things. I'll make some things super easy, okay? Trust me. Some things are a little bit more challenging because y'all are making me do push-ups. <laughs> so if you guys are good, take care, Eva, Jared, Tim, SB. Can hang around for a bit. Awesome. Well, thanks again, you guys. I'll help figure it out. Sounds good, Eva. Thanks for being here, you guys. And thank you for being a part of this. Hey, that's my Chewbacca.